This morning, President Obama is putting health care reform on the fast track, declaring that its year-long journey must be completed in Congress quickly. CBS News senior White House correspondent Bill Plant has the latest this morning. Good morning, Bill. Good morning, Maggie. The, public, the president yesterday rejected Republican calls to start over, saying that it is time to make a decision on health care. Not just for the past year, but for decades. The president's plan includes some Republican ideas, like grants for malpractice reform and expansion of health savings accounts. But he made it clear Despite that he's willing to agreed, get this done with a legislative maneuver requiring no Republican support. Reform has already passed the House with a majority. It has already passed the Senate with a supermajority of 60 votes. And now it deserves the same kind of up or down vote that was cast on welfare reform. Senate Republican leader Mitch McConnell promised to make mm. that an issue in November. The administration and the majority are very arrogant about this. Political analyst Reed Wilson that agrees that the vote could hurt Democrats, but says that what they really need is an end to the health care battle. The bottom line calculation, though, is that they just need to get this thing done. They just need to get it passed, and that will be the, the best possible outcome for this, even though it's still not a very good one. But this is by no means a done deal. There are a lot of Republicans and Democrats in the House, Republicans united in opposition, Democrats wavering because of elections this fall. The president will go out and start campaigning for this next week. Maggie? Bill Plant at the White House this morning. Thank you, Bill.